What's up guys? So today's video we're going to be looking at a super, super expensive set of darts. And what those darts are, are these. These are the Target Elysion 2s. They're the second generation of the Target Elysions. And we've also got the case as well. So we're going to have a look at these darts in depth. Go over how much they're worth. Go over like the detail in them. We're going to get the microscope out and have a look at the the detail on all of them, talk about them a little bit, and then we're going to throw them and we're going to see what they're like. But anyway, these were lent to me by my buddy Mark, so if you want to go and check out Mark, he's got all sorts of darts collections. Um, I'll link his Twitter in the description, so go and have a look at him. Uh, he's got so much stuff. I think he's got like five different sets of Elysions, but anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing to note about these is the price. Now, I am struggling to find these on the internet selling anywhere, but the places that are trying to sell them or the places that are out of stock and are trying to sell them uh, are trying to sell these from anywhere between 400 to 700 pounds. So that's probably like 500 to 800 dollars ish. Um, really, really expensive dart. Now, these darts actually take one hour per barrel to make. They're so, so detailed there's just so ridiculously detailed that they take an hour each so just to make the barrels for these three darts would have taken three hours and as far as i'm aware there's only 200 sets of these in the world and i've got one of them in my hands that's why they're so expensive but also we have got the case as well and everything about this feels premium it feels so nice everything is just perfect even like the little the little belt belt holder the place where you hook it over your belt feels so premium the uh the clip the clip that connects it to to the uh to the case it feels ridiculous it, it just the whole thing is just lovely everything works perfectly there's a magnet in it um the zip i don't know the zip just feels so silky like it's just unbelievable. The quality and the craftsmanship that has gone into this product is ridiculous. Um, everything is just so soft. All of the stitching and stuff looks so perfect. Everything has been lined up to perfection and stitched together to perfection. It is just a ridiculous piece of work. If you picked this case up and you looked at it, you would understand straight away why it is expensive. I wouldn't have said it was as expensive as it is, but you'd understand sort of why it's so expensive. Okay, let's have a look with under the microscope at what this looks like. So we start down at the point. Nothing really specific about the point. The point, the point is a dark point. I don't want to go into too much detail on the point. Uh, there's a really, really nice connection from the point to the barrel. It doesn't look, the thing is when you magnify it to an extreme amount, it doesn't look as good, but when you feel it, when you feel it in your fingers, it is so, so smooth. Anyway, up the barrel. So this is where the dart becomes expensive. It is this type of grip. So you can see on the barrel, it's just kind of like, there's just divots in it. I don't really know how to explain it. They're like raindrop or teardrop shaped divots that go all the way up. And then when you get onto the next row, they do the same thing, but then they go all the way down. Now, this is one of the reasons why this um, barrel takes so long to make, because I would assume these are all done individually. And then after that, they are painted. Oh, I guess I guess they do half of them first, then paint it, and then do the other half. So, so I guess that's why some of these are like the plain metallic colour. But that is basically the grip on the front of the barrel. Now, when you get to the back of the barrel, it gets a bit more crazy and you can see you can see how detailed this is um, from the naked eye it just looks like round dotted circles but when we look at it in super like magnification you can see all the individual bumps and you can see all the like the little the little milling lines and stuff on them and it's just crazy how detailed it is these you can't feel the lines when you when you touch the dart at all you can only feel the uh the little the little dots on them uh but apparently these individual dots are milled out one at a time as well so that's another reason why this process takes so long but if we keep going up the barrel we are going to get towards the stem and uh have a look at what the stem looks like so again 
The connection from the barrel to the stem is really nice. Um, and then if you work your way up, we've got the stem. These are the original stems that come with the, with the setup and they have the same sort of um, raindrop style or teardrop style grip on them. And they go all the way up towards the flight and that is it. So if I take, I'm going to take off one of these flights. And if we have a look at the top of the stem as well. I don't know if this is any different to the to the target stems that they normally do. I guess these are probably replaceable screw-on tips. So there's probably not a lot special about these. But that is the entire dart up close. So obviously Mark, who owns these darts, has thrown these a few times. You can see a little few little bits of... Uh, damage on them, the tiniest amount, but under times a thousand uh, magnification you can really see the little chips and stuff that have come off it, but we're going to set up the dartboard, we're going to set up the cameras and we're going to give these darts a throw. Now I promised Mark that I will not group the darts so that that sort of damage does not happen even though it's already got it on there. So we'll be throwing darts away from each other, we might do one at the 20, one at the 19, one at the ball or at the 18 or something. So. Let's get the cameras set up, let's see how they throw, and let's see what they're like, and we'll see what, see what we can hit with them. Okay, so first impressions of holding them, getting ready to throw. There's a real difference between the two different grips. So we've obviously got the, the dotted grip and we've got the, the raindrop, teardrop style grip. The way that I hold my darts is like that. So I'll have one finger down here, I'll have a finger up here, and I'll have my thumb supporting my back finger. And straight away, I can notice the difference between grips between this finger and this finger. And I've never had a set of darts like it, so it feels really odd. But let's see how they go. We're going to be throwing treble 20, treble 19 bullseye. Well, that's the, that's the idea. That's probably not where they're going to go. But that's the idea. But just bear in mind, unless you've got a lot of money, these probably aren't really a throwing dart. I feel like these are a dart to have on your, on your display case or something. These aren't really a dart to throw, so I've no idea where these are going to go. I hope they don't break, but let's have a throw. So I'm really nervous like throwing them just because they're so expensive, but I'm trying to take them out of the board without letting... Normally I just grab my darts like that, so I'm trying to take them out, out of the board one by one so I don't scratch them on each other. I'm trying to hold them in my hand away from each other as well because they're so expensive. Let's try that again. <coughs> now straight away for me, because I use a dart which is a long, thin dart, and this is more of like a Phil taylor -y type of dart, not as much, but it's a lot more, it's, got, it's a lot more fatter in the middle and it sort of slopes out on each side. It's more of a uh, like a John Lowe dart, more of a John Lowe dart than it is an Eric Brissot dart. I like an Eric Brissot dart, so these don't fly that well for me, but yeah, they're very interesting. I mean, I can't imagine anyone really like going out of their way to buy these to use them. So unless you've got like Dart Wolf 180 type money to spend on darts, these probably aren't going to be your everyday playing dart because of how expensive they are. <coughs> so my impressions of them as a throw is I don't really like them. They're, it's only because of personal preference though, because I throw a much lighter dart than these are. I don't know what weight these are. I guess, I guess feeling them, they're probably 25 grams. I usually throw a 22. So I guess they're about 25 grams and I don't like the shape of them, but all in all, they're an incredible dart, regardless of how I throw with them. They are incredibly detailed and just unbelievable. Okay, we'll have three more darts. We'll see where they go and we'll end the video there. That would be a nice way to finish. So, all in all, incredible set of darts. I need to hold these further apart from each other so they don't, so they don't touch each other. But all in all, incredible set of darts. The, the craftsmanship that goes into these is insane. They take an hour per barrel to make. And you can kind of tell why as well, because just how good they are. But anyway, guys, 
If you enjoyed that video, leave a like on it. Let me know if you want to see any more expensive darts and I might be able to uh, help you out with that. Depends on uh, on where I can get them from because I ain't spending 700 quid on a set of them. But guys, thank you so much to all my Patreons. We've got a couple more now as well. If you want to, if you want to support me on Patreon, you can. You can go to www.patreon.com forward slash the darts referee. And yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.